I made these 3D printed parts to make a cord winder and today I'll be showing you how to assemble it and also how to use it. So uh, the parts you need are these 3D printed parts and I give away the files for free. You can make these on your 3D printer if you have one or you can also use various stores online that will uh, print out these files for you as well for a small fee. Then I have four little hooks, four screws, and a quarter inch hex bit like this. It doesn't really matter what's on this end. I'll show you how it's used in a little bit. Additionally, I need a screwdriver for the screws. I need a drill. That's how you run it. It can be corded, cordless, doesn't matter. And then this isn't strictly necessary, but some kind of lubricant. Uh, this is a dry lube. It uses Teflon. I like it because it's cleaner than um, like oil or something, but you know, whatever you have will work. And if you run it at a slow speed, you don't strictly need this. It's just, I found when running it at high speeds with PLA, which is what I printed these parts from, it, it can melt. With this, I've had no issues with that. Let's get on to the construction. So the assembly is pretty easy. On all of the gears, there's um, a side that has sort of these angled uh, bottom pieces and that's just so it can be printed without supports and you want to put those into this um, sort of filleted uh, portion on the bottom piece so all four of these are going to go in this way and then we've got this big gear in the middle it'll go in like this and now I'm going to take my um, dry lube and I'm just going to spritz it that's good I take this and put that on there. Now I'll put the screws in. Yeah, I also realized, you know, I can just use this as well to speed up the process. Yep, much easier. Next up, I'm going to install this hex portion. Now you want to take the side without um, this because it's if you put this in it doesn't get very much grip it only gets at the end uh, so you're using this and this is basically used to twist the gears and I can get it in with my hands if you have trouble you could sort of tap it in a little bit with a hammer mine's it's pretty tight fit so that's all the way in and the reason I did that is because now, if I put it into this drill like this, that kind of holds it in place, which is helpful when I'm putting in these little screws here. Otherwise, it kind of twists on me. But here now I just put in the four little hooks. And there, now it's fully assembled. So the way it works is if you're not holding it, the whole thing kind of spins like this and all of the hooks go around. And then if you do hold this portion, the hooks spin. Now, let me show you how it works with some yarn. So now what I've done is I've tied four different colors of yarn to the four different hooks. And then at this end, I have a little box with some weight to it and I've attached the four cords to this end. You'll want to experiment with different weights here and things, but basically that's going to keep all of the cords um, from twisting in on each other. So now for the first stage, I'm going to hold this outer disc and that's going to force the hooks to spin and that's going to add a bunch of twist to the yarn in one direction. So you can see the um, weight on the other end sort of moved. I try to gauge it about 10%. It really depends on what look you're looking for though. And uh, basically that's how that helps you gauge how much twist I've added to these single yarn. So now I'm not going to hold the outer portion and it's going to twist all of the yarns together and we're actually going to get the cord. And now for this side, you can actually take the cord in on itself and you'll see that it's sort of balling up. And that means that I don't have enough twist added in this direction. Once I've added enough twist, it will stop balling up. A 
Let's try that. So that's pretty good. Let's give it just a little bit more twist. And that looks pretty good. So then at this stage, I'm just gonna take um, some tape, sort of wrap it around both ends a little bit, just so that it doesn't untwist itself. Here is what the cord looks like. It's just four strands of yarn that have been twisted in one direction, and then I twist them in the other direction using the cord maker. And the, the opposite twists cause it to balance the twist out, and you get a nice string or cord like this.